Now, what will happen if the particles were indistinguishable? And what is the situation? What are the situation in which indistinguishable particle arise? So, as I said, that classical particles are distinguishable because each particle follows a particular trajectory. Therefore, we can detect the particle even when they are close together, because the classical particles really will not like collapse onto each other. You know, you can still there will be particles who, even there, even if they are come closer, you can still say this is particle one, this is particle two, because we have been following that particle all along. However, for quantum particle, for example, bosons and fermions, they are indistinguishable. So, bosons, there are two kinds of quantum particles are there. One is called boson, which are indi you know those, those are indistinguishable, and they have you know integral spins. Another characteristics of boson is that many of the bosons can reside on the same energy level. So, photon is a boson particle, like Higgs boson. People know about a lot. That's a that's a uh, bo you know boson. That's a that has integral spins. Similarly, electron, protons also are indistinguishable they are quantum particles and the reason they are indistinguishable is that when you know let us say you know hydrogen molecule when two electron come close together and form bond you can never distinguish which is electron 1 and electron 2 all that you write is a wave function associated with both the electrons together you do not identify so when they are far apart maybe you know hydrogen atom has electron 1 hydrogen atom number 2 has electron 2 but when they are close then you cannot distinguish the electron anymore. So, therefore, electrons are indistinguishable particles and they are fermions because they have half integer spins. And fermions have a speciality that not more than two fermion can stay in the same energy level due to Pauli's excretion principle. So, for fermions the energy level can have either 0, 1 or 2 particle. For bosons however, you can have any number of particles. However, both fermion and bosons are indistinguishable particles unlike classical one which are distinguishable particles. So, in that case then we have to still uh, identify how to get the statistics, how to calculate w's and how to get you know the distributions or probability distributions of the particles in different energy levels with respect to the energy. So, let us see that. So, we will see that bosons and fermions will follow different statistics and this is called quantum statistics. It may be you know, um, you know intimidating for you to knowing the term quantum statistics, but in this particular course we are not going to go into mathematical detail of derivations of any of those quantum statistical formula. All that we are emphasizing at this point is that these particles are indistinguishable, the rest of the things are same as what we have discussed. So, and it will not be um, complicated as you can see soon. So, let us talk about bosons. Again we are going to talk about the same thing 5 units of energy 4 particle only thing the picture will look very different now. The picture will look like this all are blue particles. remember the earlier ones where they had different colors. So, colors were distinguishing the particles for, for us basically. So, now we are putting all same color. So, therefore, we can no longer distinguish whether the green particle is up or red particle is up or which particle is up. So, the how many possible ways we can get this distribution? Only one possible way because either we bring whatever particle we bring we do not know which particle we are bringing up right. So, there can be only one way of getting. So, the number of microstates for distribution A is 1. Remember however, the number of distribution still remains to be P partition of 5 units of energy into 4 particle. So, P 5 4 will be still 6. However, individual micro st uh, microstates of individual distribution will be just 1 instead of n factorial by n 1 factorial n 2 factorial because this is no longer distinguishable. So, these are all these are the 6 possible distributions that we had we had shown you before, but only thing is that in that particular case you had all different colors. Now, you have all same color and because of that all the w's now are 1 we, you can no longer distinguish that whether which particle has gone up and which gone down. So, then automatically how what we get is that we get 6 distributions and we got only 6 microstates 
Remember how many we got? 56 microstates we got all total when the particles were distinguishable. Now, with indistinguishable particles, we only get 6 possible microstates. So, number of particles in all 6 possible microstates is 4 into 6 is 24. So, total there are 24 dots in this graph. And now, we want to identify how many particles are there in which level. So, for example, you see that level 1 has 5 particles, level uh, sorry energy level 5 has 1 particle, energy level 4 also has only 1 particle, energy level 3 has 2 particle this one and this one, energy level 2 has 4 particle, energy level 1 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 particle and energy level 0 has 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7, 8, 9 particles. So, you see each energy level we can just count from this distribution and we can get the number of particles in each energy level and now since we are combining all possibilities then we are dividing we have to divide this 9 by 24 to get the n i by n. So, this is the probabilities n i by n as is shown here for each energy level. So, now the same way we similarly what we got for distinguishable particles for bosons we get the same thing we get the similar distributions for bosons also and that is given by uh, these numbers and we can plot them before we do that let us do for 7 units of energy 9 particles. In this particular case also the number of distributions will be same as 15 which we had before which is obtained from partition of 7 into 9 and here also we have similar distributions uh, like A, B, C, D. However, here also the number of microstates for each of the distribution will be just one because particles are distinguishable. Note that we have not put with the dots because uh, there is not enough space for putting 8 dots here, but this 8 denotes just 8 blue particle and this denotes just 1 blue particle. For example, here it denotes 7 blue particle, 1 blue particle, 1 blue particle. So, just imagine that they are all blue. So, earlier we did n factorial by n1 factorial and all that, here we cannot do that because they are all distinguishable, indistinguishable therefore they are all just 1. Now once you get that, how many microstates then? So, 15 distributions, each distribution gave you 1 microstate, so W dot is just 15. So, total number of particles from all possible distribution is 15 into 9 because we have only 9 particles and 15 distributions, 15 into 9 is 135. Now, we can count how many particles are there in which level. Let us start with 7. 7 has only 1 particle. So, 1 particle now probability is 1 by 135 which is given by this number. Level 6 has 1 particle, level 5 has 2 particle as you can see from this, level 4 has 3 particle as you can see from this and level 3 has 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 particle as you can see from here, level 2 has 11 level 1 has 30 and level 0 has 81, you can count that. You know if you do not want to count, then there is an easier way uh, to do that is when you partition 7 into 9, which I will just show you one or two example. Let us say you partition 7 into 9, which is I said which is nothing but 7. When you partition 7 into different parts, let us say I do this partition 5, 1, 1, 1 no 5 1 1 that is the partition which means that I have 2 particles in level 1 and I have 1 particle in 5. So, by now let us say I do one more 4 3 4 2 1 1 this indicates that one particle having 4 energy to one particle having 2 energy and 2 particles are having 1 units of energy. So, uh, I am sorry so we will just change that uh, 4 2 1 1 is like 8 so, we will just do 4, uh, 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1. So, which means that one uh, particle is having 3 units of energy, one particle is having 2 units of energy and 2 particles having 1 units of energy, which means now if I get all the partitions and count how many ones are there, we will get number of particles corresponding to 1, 1 units level. If we count how many 2s are there from all partitions, then we will get number of particles having energy 2 like that we will get all possible values even without doing uh, showing these particular distributions. We can use partitions to get that and by 
then we can also count that how many particles are there in which level. Once we do that, we can just count them and divide by the total number of n and we, are get, we get the this probability distributions with energies. You see this is my energy level and this is the probability. We can plot that which we have done that. We have plotted that here for 5 units of energy and 4 bosons, 7 units of energy and 9 bosons and 9 units of energy and 7 bosons. But the fit is not an exponential fit unlike the distinguishable classical particles. This fit is this equation. So, what was the difference from the earlier one? If you see the Maxwell Boltzmann one was n i by n was a e to the power minus beta epsilon j. So, if I write it differently, it will become a by e to the power beta epsilon j or I can write it as by bringing a down, I can write it as c e to the power minus beta epsilon j. You see here or a prime I can see instead of. So, a prime is nothing but 1 by a. You see the only difference is that there is a minus 1 in the denominator. This minus 1 was not there in case of Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. This minus 1 came because we are talking about now indistinguishable particles and especially bosons because bosons do, bosons do not have restrictions to be many bosons can reside in the same level. That is an important characteristics apart from being indistinguishable. These two characteristics, one is indistinguishability, another is many of them can reside and that will give rise to this particular statistics and I we have, uh, I have uh, fitted that with uh, that particular uh, line. Although for 5, 4 it did not fit that well, but you see it fitted really well for 7 units of energy and 9 bosons and also 9 units of energy and 7 bosons and it will fit very well when you increase the number of particles. So, you see that that going from distinguishable particles to indistinguishable particles your statistics that means how the probability of occupying a particular energy level uh, how it has changed from a normal exponential distributions to something like this particular distributions which is uh, which is an experimental observations that it will that distribution will follow this one. So, now if something follows this one we know that they are bosons particle whether we are, we, we are able to distinguish or not that is a secondary aspect, but if we get a statistics of particular distributions and it follows this one then we know that ok we are talking about bosons we are not talking about Maxwell Boltzmann. Now, the fact that classical particles follow Maxwell Boltzmann indicate that they are distinguishable, but our eyes cannot may not be able to distinguish them. We see all like you know incense let us say they, they, they look all the same color, we cannot distinguish them, but our uh, inability to distinguish or distinguish has nothing to do with that. Whatever statistics we will get will tell us that what kind of particles we are dealing with and that is the thing. So, now we got bosons and again B is nothing but 1 by k B T which has a good implications which we will talk about that later. Now, let us talk about fermions. Now, what is the speciality? Here we are talking about same blue particles except that since their electrons are protons and they have in you know half integer spin more than 2 cannot reside in the same level. So, the number of occupants in any level is 0, 1 or 2. Now, we are talking about 5 units of energy and 4 uh, um, 4 boson uh, 4 fermions sorry this is fermions. So, you see since we are talking about 5 units of energy and 4 fermions since we are talking about 5 4 partitions the same as 5 4 partitions as was there for other 2 dist you know uh, 2, pa 2 particles also it will be again 6 possible distributions. However, all 6 are not uh, right for fermions. So, can you tell me which one is not right? First one is not going to be right because there are 3 particles in level 0 and which else is not right? Yes, that also will not be right. So, we land up not with 6 because of that restriction we land up with 4 distributions. How do you get it from partitions? Let us say you have 5 units of energy and 4 particles. Now, you can partition the 5 units of energy among 4 particles in many different ways. For example, you put 5, part, 5 units of energy to one particle and then rest of the 3 particles get 0. Now, this according to the rules of the Pauli's exclusion principle, 
three particles will be in level zero and therefore it will be not allowed. Similarly, you can break them into four, one, zero, zero. That is an allowed one because there are two particles only in level zero. One particle is in level one and one particle is level four. Now, if you do three, two, zero, zero, that is also allowed. If you do two, two, one, zero, that is also allowed. And if you do, let's say, two, one, 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 and that is a not allowed transition because there are three particles in level one. So for bosons, however, everything is allowed because there can be more than two particles also in one level. So therefore, for fermions, you have to first see the how many number of distributions, total number of distributions. And then from this total number of distributions, you have to subtract uh, the distributions in which more uh, the uh, an integer number appearing more than twice. Distributions where an where a particular integer appears more than twice. If you do that, then you will be able to get the number of fermions. You can try that, for example, with uh, nine units of particle, nine units of energy among six particles, and then you can have uh, let's say you, you can have nine and then five zeros that will not be allowed That will not be allowed if you say eight one zero 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 That is also not allowed then you have seven one One Zero 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 that is also not allowed but then if you have let's say five then two, five and two, seven, seven plus one, eight, plus one, nine, and zero and zero, that is an allowed one, because the total energy is five plus two, seven, plus one, eight, plus one, nine, six particles, one, two, three, four, five, six, and no integer is appearing more than twice. So therefore, this is an allowed fermionic distribution where, where nine units of energy distributed among six particles. So now you see, I'm left with only four distributions, not six, only four distributions. That means total number of particles in four distributions will be 16. Now let me count how many particles are there in which level. So for example, level five has zero particle because this distribution was not allowed. So nothing can go to level five. Level four has one particle which is coming from this distribution B. Level three has two particle coming from this and this distribution. Level 2 has 3 particle coming from this one and this one. Level 1 has 4 particle coming from this one, this one and this one. And level 0 has 6 particle as you can see not coming from here but 2 plus 2 is 4, 5 and 6. So once we get that I divide 6 by 16 I get this number. I get divide 4 by 16 I get this number. So I get now again the probability with the energy levels. Similarly, can you tell me which distribution? So again I am now dividing 7 units of energy among 9 particles and I got the same, I wrote down the same distribution as was in uh, bosons and Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Now which of them is allowed? Can you tell me? Actually none of them is allowed. Because in every distribution, there is one level which has more than two particles. For example, here 8 is more than 2, here 7 is more than 2, 7 is more than 2, 6 is more than 2, 7 is more than 2, 6 is more than 2, 5 is more than 2, of course, 6, 6, 5, 4, 5, 4, 3, and here 7. So, I do not find any in which the number of particles is in a, every level is 2 or less. So, 7 units of energy cannot be distributed in 9 particles for fermions. So, for fermions your energy level 
should be more than the number of particles. So, let us switch it around. Let us do it 9 units of energy in 7 particle and you can see that there is only one possibility. You cannot change it to anything else, only one distribution, only one microstate. If you have 9 units of energy and 7 particles for fermions. Now, if I reduce one particle, 9 units of energy into 6 particle, I get this many possible distributions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 distributions I get. So, now for 5 distribution, I have total number of there are 6 particles. So, I have total 30 particles and I can count that how many uh, levels at which particle. As you can see that 6, 7, 8, 9 will have 0 uh, particle, 5 has only 1 particle, 4 has 2 particle, 3 has 4 particle, uh, 2 has 6 particle and 1 has 8 and 0 has 9 particle and corresponding uh, probabilities are given here. So, we have plotted 5 units of energy into 4 fermions and 9 units of energy into 6 fermions because the other 2 are not possible. 9 units of energy in 7 fermions we got gave us only 1 uh, distribution which is statistically not good and 7 units of energy 9 particles did not give us anything. So, we just landed up with these 2 and we have shown you, but however, in this case the fitting is not by any of the other 2 equations the fitting is done by this equation. So, remember for bosons it was minus, for boson it was minus and for Maxwell distribution there was, um, for Maxwell distribution this plus 1 or minus 1 was not there. Okay. So, these are the 3 different statistics and again this is the same thing. Now, we compare all the 3 different statistics in the same graph. So, here we have taken 9 units of energy and 6 particles because that is uh, you know that is working out for all the 3 different ones. So, we have done that and this the, in this we are uh, showing the 3 different distributions Maxwell Boltzmann distribution which does not have plus 1 or minus 1, then uh, Bose Einstein distribution uh, and Fermi Dirac uh, distribution uh, all the 3 are uh, shown here. Sorry, I think uh, this is plus and this is minus, this is minus and you see that they are they look more or less similar, however, they are not exactly same especially when you uh, really increase the number of particles and energy levels then they will differ. Uh, you can see when the energy level is higher then of course, they will follow the similar trend and uh, when your temperature will become higher then also they will follow a similar trend that is what it means. However, uh, when the energy level is low or the temperature is low then the Bose Einstein Fermi Dirac statistics or Maxwell Boltzmann distributions they are all going to differ as you can see the difference is prominent you know in this intermediate region. Here we have not used any formula we have only used the our own ways of distributing the distinguishable indistinguishable particles having some fixed amount of energy and we landed up with some numbers for every given energy level and from there we got the statistics and that is what we are going we have plotted and we have shown that how this is changing with different energy levels and that the fact that they are different for these 3 different types of particles that we discussed. Okay.